Hi guys, welcome to the Bush Bunker. It's me, Moses, your host, and uh, today I will be making a video, and uh, the title will be called Glock 40 MOS 10 millimeter versus bear spray, and which one would work, and why you should use it. And stay tuned for after the little clip of shooting, I will tell you my own little bear story that happened in uh, the summer of 2020 during COVID, we went camping and I'll let you know about it. All right, well, let's get to shooting. As in today's video, welcome back to the Bush Bunker. My name is Moses, your host. We will be shooting the uh, Glock 40. It's in a uh, 10 millimeter. And what we will be shooting today will be a can of beer spray. Glock 40, 10 millimeter versus bear spray. What do you think will win? All right, guys, let's do this. So as you can see, the can of bear spray right there, we're gonna shoot 180 grain hollow point, jacketed hollow point, let's see. And by the looks of that, it looks like hollow point one, 10 millimeter. Oh, that was a pretty good hit. Well guys, let's get back to the house and I'll tell you the story of this last summer that we had of a bear scare and how bear spray didn't work. Okay, see you back at the house. There's my son, Cameron. Say hi, Cameron. Bye, Bye guys. Hey guys, well, welcome back to the Bush Bunker. Sorry, you know, um, today is uh, pretty cold outside. It is 10 degrees out, so you might hear, hear the heater blasting in the background that heaters uh, are attached to the um, detached garage. But anyway, you guys saw the video earlier today shooting the, uh, the Glock 40. But before we talk about it, I'll tell you why I chose it. This summer, we moved to Soldotna but before we moved here, we went on a long road trip. On our road trip consisted of going to Anchorage, buying a truck, driving up the parks all the way up to Fairbanks, from Fairbanks all the way up to Chicken, from Chicken all the way down to Glen, from the Glen all the way uh, past Girdwood, Girdwood to Bertha, Bertha, down here to the peninsula. But anyway, on our long road trip, we were camping in the tent. So uh, after we came back from Chicken, we stopped by in Girdwood. We found a camping spot in Girdwood that said a tent only camping. So it was only a tent camping area. Not too far from the skate park, uh, not too far from that little laundry mat. You'll see it if you drive back in there. There's a little camping ground and there was no tenant. Usually every campground that we stayed at had a, had a tenant that watches the whole, takes care of the campground. Obviously this campground when we got there we thought it was bad because there was, everything was overgrown. All the ferns were everywhere. Sorry, excuse me. Let me pick this net back up. So anyway, uh, it was overgrown. We decided, okay, we're gonna camp here. It'll be fine. So I set up my tent. I have my uh, three daughters with me, ages eight, four, and uh, one years, and my wife. So, during that night while we were camping, I was sleeping, woke up 5.30 in the morning and I heard a snort. <coughs> we heard a, like a <coughs> snort on my side where my head was at. And my wife was on the air bed, she was the other way, but she was awake. She's been awake since 5 o'clock in the morning, she was reading her book. She's into a book that deals with, uh, it's just a fact, you know, it's a really good book that she's into. But anyway, the, while she was reading her book, I woke up and I heard a snort. <clears throat> and I was all like, I got up and I was like, F you bear, I know it's a bear. And then like push its face in and I seen its snout and I freaked out and I got up. I was, I was armed, I had a, um, during that time I had a Smith & Wesson 686. See, before this whole trip happened, 
Right as soon as we got the Anchorage or Bala, Smith & Wesson 686, you'll see it in an older video, a short film. But that 686, I had 357 Underwood in there, you know, the red, it's, it's capped red, it looks like a little bottle of lipstick, a little tube of lipstick, but I had that in 357. So anyway, we're, in, we're the only one in this campground. And I freaked out, I was like, F you beer. I'm just gonna say F you, but I said that full word. I was like, F you beer. I got up and it walked around to my tent. I thought it was a person for a second, but I knew it was a bear. But the bear it was a black bear and it was walking at its, on its hind leg around my tent. I could see the shadow. It was about this high, right? So I'm freaking out. I'm like, fucking bear, get the fuck out of here. I'm cussing away at it. Chelsea's like, what? There's nothing. She's into her book. There's nothing. It came all around her tent, hit the door, came to this side, and I started pushing on my door. And I started yelling, and I kicked that part of the tent, and I had my pistol on it, and I was freaking out, and Chelsea's all like, grab the bear spray, grab the bear spray. I opened the front door of the tent, and I had that big kind of bear spray, and I was looking, and he's like, what, 15 feet from me. I pointed it at him, and I sprayed, and there's no wind at all. And I sprayed, and I kept spraying, that bear just stood there and nothing happened. He just stood, stood there and took it. I kept yelling at him. When I kept yelling at him, he went away. But anyway, that bear spray, all it did, there was no wind. It made a big mist. It hit my tent. It got all over my arm and all over my face. I started coughing. My wife and my three kids were coughing. I will never trust bear spray again. But anyway, I opened the door. I told my wife to get the kids ready and go to the tent and that I will pack up everything by myself while I'm armed. So, as I told my wife, my three, she's got, she has our, our baby. She wasn't a year yet. She just turned a year in December. But anyway, we're walking out. As we walked out of the tent, my two girls, my wife with the child, were walking towards the truck. They, I tell you, the truck's like maybe 25 yards away. You couldn't bring your truck into this stupid little camp. Never camping there again. We went out. And I made a distance, because I could still see the bear. The bear's like uh, 20 yards from me now. And then there's like 20 yards to the truck. So I backed out. My wife and the kids were walking to the truck. And the good thing I had my gun on me. Because as soon as, you know, I threw a rock at the bear. He ran into the ferns on the next campsite right, next campsite over. And out of all those ferns, there were, the ferns were so overgrown, all that was poking out was his head. And it looked really cartoonish. So I threw another rock at him. I turned around, told my wife to get into the truck. As soon as I turned around, when I turned backwards, the bear had went from 20 yards away to like 15 feet behind me. And that freaked me out. So I grabbed my, I had a 686. I took a pistol out and went, wham! That bullet, man, that bear was so lucky. The bullet went right over its head. He stood up, trampled backwards, turned around and took off running. So this whole time I'm freaking out. My wife and them got in the truck. So I ran into the truck after that happened because the bear ran the other way. Even though I'm not supposed to bring my truck to the campground, I drove my truck all the way back underneath the pavilion, all the way back there to where my truck, or to where my campsite was. I started packing up the tent. It started pouring rain, so I was the only one out there. And yeah, we it was it was bad. I'll never trust bear spray again. But after watching a few videos, I, I've been watching a uh, chooks videos on um, YouTube and also Alaskan Ballistics and ta they talk highly about the Glock 40 in 10 millimeter. So what I ended up doing was selling my uh, 357 686 Smith & Wesson 7 shot revolver. I sold it and I put those funds and I bought me a Glock 40 10 millimeter. And here it is. So I bought me one of these. Now I have one of these, which is nice because it has about this almost close enough ballistics to 357 Magnum, but with 15 rounds. So the next time that happens, whether it be a black beer or a brown beer, I feel confident that I will be able to shoot it, kill it, and capacitate it quickly. Not only that, instead of seven rounds, I got 15. So that's what? That's eight more rounds than, than I had before, which is nice. So, of course, you guys all know Glock. Glock's a big name. So, you know, to take it apart easily, just pull, push it forward. Pull it down, push that, and it comes up. 
So it's a beautiful, it's, it's, I like it. It's a long slide with a short frame. This is a really good pistol from what I'm hearing for Alaska. And a lot of people are buying them. My next thing that I will be purchasing next will be a chest holder built here in Alaska, made to sit here in Kydex. So I'll be able to walk and use it. But anyway, that's my story and um, why I choose the Glock 40 10 millimeter compared to bear spray. And um, I know you guys, anybody that's new to Alaska, consider purchasing a firearm, at least uh, 357 at the minimum, 10 millimeter at the minimum. I mean, there, 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 there's been in instances where people killed the, a brown bear with a nine millimeter, but you have to get the right ammo. But then again, thanks for coming back to the bush bunker. You guys all have a good night. I'll see you later.